In September the year 1788, the Austrians were yet again fighting the Ottomans in the so-called Habsburg Ottoman War. Most of the Austrian army was large, around 100,000 strong, but was made up of numerous ethnicities from all corners of the empire, some of whom didn't even speak German. This crude army, led by the Holy Roman Emperor himself, King Joseph II, was scouting for the forces of the Ottoman military near the town of Karansebes in modern-day Romania. As the day was coming to an end, the army decided to set up a camp near the town next to the Timis River. The army's vanguard, a contingent of hussars, continued to scout for the Ottomans and crossed the river, however found nothing more than some group of Roma people or Wallachians offering to sell barrels of schnapps, liquor, to the soldiers. Naturally, the soldiers took the deal and got to drinking right away, seemingly forgetting their purpose there in the first place. Shortly after, some of the infantry crossed the river as well, only to find a drunk on contingent of hussars partying. The infantry wanted to join in and demanded some of the barrels of alcohol for themselves but the hussars refused as they were the ones who bought it and also were of higher status than a meager infantryman. Soon a scuffle broke out and the drunk hussars made up makeshift defenses around the barrels. Suddenly in the confusion a shot was fired by someone and the drunken scuffle turned into an all-out fight. During the battle, some of the infantry started to yell Turzi, Turzi, meaning Turks or Ottomans. The drunk and confused hussars fled in fear of an Ottoman attack, with the infantry being quick to follow, all while still attacking each other. The situation was made even worse when Austrian officers, made aware of the problem, tried to restore order by yelling HALT. Halt, meaning stop. However, many of the soldiers didn't speak German and misheard the words as Allah, Allah, the Ottoman battle cry. The hussars, now convinced of an Ottoman ambush, ran through the camp where an officer mistook them for charging Ottoman soldiers and ordered an artillery fire. With the entire camp now persuaded of an Ottoman attack, the disorganized army tried to flee the scene from an imaginary enemy. Soldiers fired on every shadow, thinking it could be the Ottomans, and the Emperor Joseph himself was not knocked down of his horse into a creek. The entire army, now fighting a retreating battle against itself, suffered reportedly anywhere up to 10,000 casualties, however credible sources put that number more around 1,000. Also in addition to lost equipment, a chest containing the entire army's payroll was quote-unquote lost and several soldiers were recorded as missing. It was only when the entire army finished its retreat that the Austrians found out what actually happened in Crown Sabbath, but now disorganized and in no position to fight they had to leave the town unprotected from the Ottoman forces. Now, there are many secondhand sources and people who know better than to start a pointless argument in the comment section that will argue that such a battle of Kran Sebes never happened and that's not entirely true. So let's look at the facts we know for sure. We know that at one point during the war, the Austrian army was in Kran Sebes or the surrounding area. We also know that this positioning makes strategical sense as Kran Sebes is an important valley protecting the road towards the Hungarian plain. On top of that, we know that the Ottoman were aware of some kind of a confusion within the Austrian army during September and used this to their advantage forcing a blockade of the upper Danube. So looking at these facts, it makes no sense for the Austrian military to have withdrawn from such a strategically important place giving the Ottomans an upper hand if something major like the disastrous battle of Karansebes didn't happen. Thus we know something have had to have happened for the Austrians to withdraw from Karansebes. And we do know something happened because few days after at the start of October there was an article about it in Real Zetuk. There were also other articles later written about the battle, but there were very few and far apart, but what they all had in common was they all told the story of some kind of a military blunder in Karan Sabes during that September. Now, did the actual battle happen exactly as I presented it at the start of this video? No, it did not. The story changed over time due to exaggerations by soldiers, fabrication by rival countries to Austria, multiple retellings, and sometimes just bad research. However, as I mentioned before, a true military blunder did happen in Karan Sabas, but how it exactly happened and to what extent it happened, we may most likely never know.